ship plus a mash then add a plane this will be our ocean let's name it ocean go to modifier tab then search for ocean go to waves and increase the size of the wave so that we can see the movement of our floating object let's animate the ocean go to first frame then go to modifier tab then the time click on this little dot it will add a keyframe then go to last frame let's change the time value to 10 time then click on this dot again select both keyframe right click interpolation linear ocean animation done let's add the floating object let's add a cube this will be our floating object give it a good height so that we can see the angular movement let's change the name to object for just identification ship plus a let's add a plane this new plane will follow the movement of our ocean and our object will follow the movement of this new plane let's give the new plane same size as our object go to edit mode press 7 for top view right click subdivide 4 times is ok 4 5 times is ok ctrl plus g assign to new group you can see the group name here let's name it movement tap to object mode then go to modifier tab then search for shrink wrap target is our ocean and the group is movement group now if we run the animation you can see that the plane is following the movement of the ocean we are almost done select the object then go to constraint then add copy location and copy rotation target is our plane and vertex group is the movement same for rotation target is our plane and the vertex group is the movement let's select the plane let's move it here we are at the first frame press i then add a location keyframe let's move the timeline header to the last frame let's move the plane here press i location keyframe you can see that our object is floating nicely at rendering you can hide the plane from rendering so that's how you can make an object float in blender